Hello and welcome back to Sweet Acre Quay Farm. This is Chris. Uh, I The last short I put up, I showed everybody the wind storm that we had that blew all of the corn husks everywhere, all of the dirt that was in the fields and everything. And again this year, just like last year, you can see the string algae growing totally massively out of control in this bottom pond. And this is the pond that got hit the, the hardest. Now, in this pond, it didn't get hit as hard. It went in the front pond. So as you can see, the algae is not building up in this pond yet. But, oh, but it will. Trust me, it will. I know it will. Hi, guys. I'll be back in a minute. I'll feed you. Um, but anywho, so this year, I'm going to try something different. I mean, I already have that put back up, but as you can see... Again, I'm having issues with the waterfall. And again, the reason why my pond is having issues with the waterfall is because, again, look at the water pressure we have. Which tells me that the bottom filters are clogged. Hi, babies. Hello. Hang on. I'll get to you. Um, anyway, so we're going to try something different this time. I'm not going to go through months and months of, you know, trying to balance the pond and get the nitrogen levels right and everything else. Because once you've had so much fertilizer dumped into your ponds, all it's going to do is spark an enormous algae bloom. And that's what's going on. Because I've already talked to my friend who works at the granary and the folks that came around our area... She knows exactly the chemical they've been spraying on the fields, and it is fertilizer. And this stuff, when it reaches into any waterway, will, will spark a massive algae growth. So that's what happened last year. And I guess last year I didn't think about it because I, I was thinking more along the lines of pesticides, and I was worried about that, but... You know, at, now that I'm on my second year of this with the wind and everything else, we finally, I believe, figured out that my problem every spring is going to be nothing but fertilizer related. So, with that being said, I'm going to use the peroxide method. And I figured it would be a perfect time for me to display and show you how I've done it in the past and I'm going to do it again. And this is... I'm going to go ahead and treat the whole system, okay? I'm not going to shut everything down and just treat the bottom pond. And I just know that the fertilizer is everywhere, so why not treat everything? Shut it down, clean the filters, and get them all opened up again so I can get some really good flow going through this. And you don't ever want to do this if you don't have mm -hmm. air. If you don't have the air pump with oxygen all the way on high mm -hmm. to get it going... It's not going to be really good for the fish. So you have to make sure that you get the oxygen going and a full blast. And it also helps if you do it on a cloudy day. And that's what I'm doing. We have overcast. We have no sun. Plus we have the sun sail, so that's really beneficial. So, like, this is the perfect time for me to do this. So that's why I'm doing it today. We'll come back tomorrow, and we shall see what this horrible green algae looks like after 24 hours. Catch you back here in 24 okay, hours. Okay, this is 24 hours later. I don't see much of a change, but it may take a minute. It may take a bit. I, you know, actually, the algae does look a little lighter today. So we'll see what happens. I did clean the two drum filters that are in this pond because they were floating at the top so i knew that they needed to get cleaned and now with the falls are working again really good they've been cleaned since this morning and i did clean out let's see how much is in there really quick it's hard telling but let's just take a peek because i have not looked at it since i cleaned it not bad yeah it's really not bad 
And ooh, look at that. It looks like some of the algae starting to turn white on the falls. So there we go. That's a little bit of a change. That's good. All right. We'll check again tomorrow. Okay. We are now on day three. Let's see. And eh, you probably can't see much because, again, we have overcast. Yeah, I still see some algae in there, but a lot of it is gone. There's a lot that's gone off of there. So I'm going to say it's working. And, and I apologize because we just had a torrential downpour. As you can see, it's dripping and it's still raining. I don't know if you could. Yeah, you can tell here. We have rain today. But I wanted to make sure I got out here at the same time today so I could... I could check on this. So yeah, that's it's looking better. We'll go really quick, check the bog. I don't want to get too wet and I'm not going to be protected over here. Oh yeah, it's I can feel it. Okay, that's all right. Yeah, that's not too bad. I mean, there's still some there. I don't know if you could see it. Gosh, I hope you can. But wow, what a difference. I mean, yeah, I'm down with that. We'll do it really quick. Yeah, it's starting to eat a lot of this up too. I don't see them long strings like I did before. That's because of the cord. So that's doing okay. And that's doing better. That's just roots. But there is still some algae stuck to the roots. Yeah, I know it's windy and it's raining and but that's the roots. There's just a little bit of algae stuck to the roots. Looks like it might be clearing up soon, hopefully. Hi guys. Yeah, so that's not too bad. There we go. And you can see the water flow is really nice. I had to clean it. Was it yesterday? I think, yes, yeah, yesterday I think it was. Because the drum filters were floating. But today they're not floating. And I don't know. I mean, I'm all right with what's happening right now. Well, I'll, I'll wait and we'll go ahead and we'll do one more day. And then I'll post the video. We'll see what it looks like tomorrow. Okay, we are now on day four. And this is what we're looking like. Now it's overcast, and I'll be honest with you, I don't know how much you can actually see. I can see it very clearly that the algae is now gone. So I'm pretty happy about that. And we will come over here and check. I mean, there's still a little bit of algae floating around, not too much, but it's slowly going. And we'll come back over here and check. Whoa, hi guys. Sorry, didn't mean to scare you. So yeah, so I'm really happy about that. And you can see all the algae that was over here is now pretty much gone. There is some lingering strings like you can see back over here. But yeah, it's it's... It's definitely doing the job. It's definitely killing off the algae, just like I hoped it would. And I'll do another video, like, at the end of the week. Sorry about the poll. But, yeah, I can see that it's, it's really clearing up all the suspended algae that was over here. It's doing, it's doing a fantastic job. I got to get some of those pine needles out because we had more storms last night. So, yeah, so the hydrogen peroxide, being that it's a powerful oxidizer, it really does eat the organic material inside the pond. So hopefully it will also eat the particles floating in the water, at least I'm hoping, and possibly remove even some of the mulm along with the organic material that's left at the bottom of the pond. So we'll see what happens. The peroxide also reduces the amount of it, it, it's the 
it's I forgot how you say that word. It's like hydro tropic bacteria in the pond. It's 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 the good bacteria, okay, that you have in your pond. And it also allows some of the bad chloroforms to increase in the in numbers. So you gotta be really careful with that. And it's it's the stuff that you find like in waterfowl poop, like goose poop, duck poop, stuff like that. And some people, it's just not an issue. Like for me, I don't have ducks in here. I don't have geese or anything like that. So I'm really not too terribly concerned about that. You know, but the population, it will rebound over time. Um, you know, and the peroxide, just so in case you're questioning this, um, I looked it up and it said that the peroxide does not kill off all types of algae, like such as biofilms, um, and stuff like that. So, you know, since it's all, it's, you know, hydrogen peroxide is all natural and in, in certain bacterial processes, it, pr it produces it naturally. So this to me was like a better option than using harsh chemicals to kill the algae. You know, you may like the harsh chemicals and that's fine. It's your pond. You do what's comfortable for you. But, you know, I, I'm trying to stay away from harsh chemicals in my pond and you know the chemicals they the fish don't react to the harsh chemicals some of them you know they're very sensitive to stuff like that so i didn't want to go that route but now like i said we're at day four and we've got the suspended algae in there so in other words i'm gonna have to keep doing that uh what do you call it up there the, the baki shower whatever you want to call it I'm going to I'm going to go ahead and keep doing that fine filter that I have up there not baki shower but fine filter shower. I'm going to keep using that and getting some of the real fines out and but it's actually I mean this peroxide is actually just eating and killing off and disintegrating the algae. So it will not be long. I would imagine probably not even a week from now this pond will be completely clear and algae free. So pretty happy about that. So just remember to use the food grade, um, the food grade hydrogen peroxide, the 35%. Do your math. I gave you the math at the beginning of the video, and just make sure you reduce it down. And I think mine was like a half a cup per uh, 100 gallons. So just do the math, reduce it down because it's it's very concentrated. And yeah you should be good to go if you decide to use the hydrogen peroxide method. But I am extremely happy with it. The fish, as you can tell, are all fine. And yes, you guys already ate this morning, so you're not getting any more right now. But uh, but yeah, so I'm not having any filter clogging issues. So obviously the, the um, algae that's coming off the sides is not going to the bottom and clogging my filters. It's the, it's just actually like disintegrating it killing it off and it's got it and that's probably why my pond is looking like it is right now is because it's just breaking it all up which it will continue to do and i believe now i'm not 100 percent sure on this so i'm gonna have to do a little bit more research but products such as um beneficial bacteria um like there's like this product called pond muck and you can put it in your pond. It's a heavy dose of beneficial bacteria and it helps eat up all of, you know, the, the waste and stuff in a pond and stuff like that. Now it does say that if you do use this method to wait a week before you put that in. So I'm assuming that the hydrogen peroxide will no longer be effective after about a week and you should be able to add some extra beneficial bacteria after about a week so that's just that's just what i'm assuming i'm going to do a little bit more research on it but i'm pretty sure that the levels will balance out and everything should be fine but yeah so i for me it worked out great um it may not work out great for you you might want to try the chemicals like i said but either way just wanted to give you this last update so i can get the the video finished and uploaded and i really appreciate you guys for watching appreciate everything that you do appreciate all of our new subscribers uh appreciate everybody that's been with us from the beginning 
And, and we will catch everybody on Fish Frenzies on Monday at noon, Central Time. And everybody, stay sweet.